Hi everyone and welcome to your tarot love messages. We're going to take a look and see what the cards predict for you in terms of love and romance. It is going to be a general reading so please just keep that in mind. If you're after a personal tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video here. So the reading that we're going to take a look at is going to look at your present situation with a connecting romantic energy, a present situation maybe as a um, you know whether you're single or whether you're coupled up and see what's influencing your situation positively or negatively it still remains a general reading so please just bear that uh please just keep that in mind so let's go ahead give the cards a shuffle it is going to be a five okay let me rephrase that it is going to be a five card spread and the queen of swords has come up as card number one which is your present situation here okay so it feels like communication here okay because the suit of swords of course governs mental energy so it appears as though there may not be any contact between you and a connecting person they may have ghosted you they may have blocked you they may be giving you the silent treatment it appears as though you're wanting communication you're wanting contact you're wanting you, you have questions and you want answers, but and you want to hold this person accountable. So I feel like you're the one that's embodying the Queen of Swords energy and she is someone, okay, she's got a bit of a cold energy about her, but she is someone who gets to the heart and the core of the matter. So Queen of Swords, present situation, no contact, no communication, or if there is communication, it's very little and it's just like the same things without saying a lot so the billowing clouds in the background does is symbolic of confusion is symbolic of distraction perhaps the reason as to why they're not communicating is because they may be distracted by something or someone else they may also be distracted by their thoughts or their feelings for the current situation here as well it could also be that this person because swords are a weapon they're a destructive force it could also be that this person here is wanting to use their silence as a weapon so they know that you get upset and emotionally disappointed when they don't communicate or when they don't text you um you know when they don't initiate conversation so they know that it bothers you they know that it gets under your skin they know that it hurts you as well and they could be using it as a way to retaliate or just to sort of get you um i know it's not very nice but to sort of I don't know if they're upset themselves and they're trying to get you to feel hurt as well. So exactly what is, so card number two is exactly what's influencing this no communication. Okay, you have two cards, let's not ignore that. Two cards has, um, have popped out, the Seven of Swords and the Hangman here. So what exactly is influencing their lack of communication here? Interesting, this to me feels as though they do have something to tell you. But they're holding back because the seven of swords once again mental energy so we're echoing on from that communication or their lack of it feels like what they have to tell you is the truth the reason that they're holding back from it is because they don't want to tell you the truth because the truth hurts or because the truth means that they will have to be accountable by their by their words or by their actions um, there could also be someone who is in the business of like fabricating the truth telling you a version of it you know embellishing the truth and they may have also said or did something here with regards to a present situation and they're hoping to get away with it but it feels as though you want to address the situation the issue you want to call them out but they're hoping that by not responding to you or by giving this some time and some distance that you know, the issue here is going to dissolve or dissipate on its own. It won't because by not communicating, by not responding, they don't realize it, but they're actually making things out to be um, worse than they seem. The other thing is, if this is someone who's ghosted you and if you've been trying to get in contact with them, but you haven't heard from them, you haven't had a response from them, then the, two, the Seven of Swords alongside the Hangman tells us that this person may not, ha they, they may have led you on in the beginning, um, they may not have been as interested, as romantically interested in you as you, you know, as they may have come across in the beginning or you, as you may want them to be. And instead of 
instead of basically communicating that to you, they decided to just, you know, distance themselves or just end communication or cut ties abruptly. So because it's their way of avoiding having to have that uncomfortable conversation of coming across as the bad guy, it's so it's basically, you know, a way to benefit them. But in the end, I feel like they failed to realize that they probably look worse by just, you know, ghosting you, by going ghost mode, by going Casper on you. They are thinking about you, though, the hangman here, okay? The halo that wraps around the hangman's head is a reference to the sun. So look, they're not communicating with you, but they are thinking about you or they are thinking about what it is that they should um, say to you. But be careful because the next communication could very well be glossed with some lies so be very careful about um, what they say to you okay um, and do hold them accountable for their actions because to me it feels like they're trying to think up think up of something witty to say um, just to sort of get away with something sneaky that they shouldn't be getting away with so do hold them accountable. Okay, third card here. We want to know what, what is the challenge with this situation. So what's the challenge that you're facing here? Lieutenant Swords. Wow, there's a lot of air energy, right? What's the challenge that you're facing? So it does feel like there's some betrayal and it does feel like there's some deceit that's... Um, involved in this situation. Now, I just want to make it clear because the Seven of Swords, I've mentioned it's also mental deception and a mental trickery, right? The Ten of Swords, of course, is betrayal, but it's the ultimate act of betrayal because it's someone stabbing you in your back. It's someone um, hurting you, betraying you, but you didn't see it coming because it comes from the back and it's so unexpected and therefore that you know, that act in itself hurts even more. So the challenge here is that this person has betrayed you or they have betrayed you previously due to the multitude of the swords. So this is someone who has hurt you or who has let you down or who's lied to you, who's fabricated the truth to you before. So it feels as though this the challenge is because it's a behavioral pattern. It's something that they've done to you before. It's something that they may have gotten away with in the past. They may have lied to you. You know, you may not have pulled them up about it. You may not have been aware about it. They've done it before. They'll do it again and they'll probably do it, continue to do it if they feel like it serves them. So the challenge here is that this person has hurt you. They have betrayed you. If you don't hold them accountable for it, they're going to keep doing it, okay? It's a behavioral pattern. There's a bit of a deceit involved here. Now, the other notion of deceit could be you. It could be your conviction of this person, your conviction of this relationship. So you, what I mean by this is you may be ultimately deceiving yourself by telling, by making excuses for this person or by making their acts excusable here. So that could be the deceit in itself. Um, fourth card, the final outcome here. Okay, what is the final outcome of this current situation of yours? Okay, the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, well, at least we have a positive outcome, right? Well, we're hoping for a positive outcome. So the Wheel of Fortune is all about movement, okay? So right now, um, you guys may be experiencing some, you know, you guys may be experiencing some difficulties and some turbulency with this situation. But the Wheel of Fortune is a reminder that everything is in constant movement. So just because things aren't looking so good now, it doesn't mean that there is an opportunity to fix or salvage this or to work on this situation. The Wheel of Fortune tells us that there is. Look, there is a lot of intricacies and complexities to this situation, to this person, their energy, to the overall connection, okay? So it's not so black and white. There are patches and areas of gray here. But to me, it feels like things, there is an opportunity for things to improve in the future. But a lot of it does depend on how the two of you come together to cooperate and how you go about handling things. Because we did mention that there has been deceit or betrayal, dishonesty, even disloyalty in this connection. And I feel like it's happened on more than a one occasion. Or you let this person get away with it once before and they'll, they're maybe in the 
um, in the process of doing it again or thinking about it. Notice how the deception, the notion of deception and, you know, trickery, backstabbing has come up twice. And what does this image look like to you? If you use your imagination, to me, it kind of looks like a web. So be careful that you don't get tangled up in a web of lies. Be careful that you don't fall prey to their manipulation, their emotional manipulation and the situation in general. Be careful, okay? Because my goodness, for some of you, I feel like it's the outcome could be what a tangled web you weave and the two of you might just get caught up in this web of lies or the other outcome that I'm seeing for some of you. And this is, I feel like this is all dependent on how you approach the situation. If you hold yourself accountable in the role that you play in the situation and then as well, then I feel like there is room for you, the both of you to work on this situation. But if you ignore it and look at the red flag and see it as a green flag, then I don't know that there is any positive to come out of it, to be honest with you. Um, okay, and last reading, I mean last reading, last card is the theme. Okay, what is the overall theme of this um, situation, this connection? Okay, the five of swords. So a lot of air energy. And that's quite a reoccurring theme throughout your spread. So it's kind of fitting conflict, right? Conflict. Um, and again, I feel like for a lot of you, just be careful with whom it is that you're dealing with. Because I feel like this person does have a tendency to maybe masquerade. So to you, there may be one person behind your back. They act another way. Um, what they say to you is maybe what you want to hear rather than what you really need to hear. Because remember, a gentle lie, um, sorry, the truth is going to hurt, but a gentle lie is going to hurt that much longer. So, you know, it's like, which one do you choose? So a lot of conflict in your energies. There could also be opposing energy, like in a position here that's coming up. So you could have a connecting energy around you, around this person that opposes the connection, okay? And they're, what they're saying to your romantic interest is kind of influencing their opinion of you or their opinion of this situation or vice versa here so opposition conflict they could also as i've mentioned again i'm getting dishonesty and i'm getting that this person is one way and then another so some duality to their energy as well and just i don't know that you've seen the truth of who they really are and i don't know that you've seen the truth of this situation so given the fact that swords has keep recurring throughout the reading take one of these swords and clear the air of confusion, okay? We've mentioned that you're the queen of swords, you know, you're the one that's asking questions. Demand that those questions be answered in a truthful way. And for others of you, if you've been if you've been ghosted and you're like, okay, well, I'm not getting any answers because this person's not responding, you might have to draw on your own closure and you might have to dig deep and, you know, um, sort of search for your own, uh, sort of answer your own questions. I mean... I feel like their actions are probably speaking volumes um, itself here. But definitely the Five of Swords here, the recurring theme is conflict in your energies, conflict in their energies. They could be torn between two different people, you and someone else, or someone may be gossiping in their ears, someone may be jealous, okay, because this is a jealousy card as well. Someone may be jealous of you, of the connection that you have with this person, and they want to bring you down to their level, unfortunately. Um, so yeah, okay, so definitely the swords tells me either you need to cut ties with this person or you need to clear the air with this person, one or the other. You choose which approach you want to take. Alrighty guys, that is your five um, tarot card spread. Thank you as always for watching, listening, appreciate your support by liking, subscribing, commenting. For those interested in a personal reading, feel free to inquire or even if you want me to follow on from this reading and personalize it to your situation, Please uh, mention that in the body of the email. Otherwise, bye for now, guys.